Hello, Adam Savage here in my cave with a little bit of, um, call it, I guess I'm dropping some clamping knowledge today. Um, I've covered all sorts of clamps. I've covered jeweler's clamps like this uh, flat and round ended uh, jeweler's clamp. Um, this uh, jeweler's clamp, which also drifts into a machinist's clamp, where when you tighten this cone, it pushes the jaws together. Uh, look, making physical objects in almost every form that there is requires holding on to stuff. I like thinking categorically about the stuff in my shop. How am I holding on to stuff? How am I clamping? Uh, one way of clamping stuff is things like this. Another way is using um, quick clamps like this, spring clamps like this. But there's another way that you might not think of as clamping, but it is. Um, and it's this. Here, out here at the end of this drill bit, you see these three, you see these three little uh, things there? Those three, what do you, you see, do you see the three jaws of my drill, Chuck? They're a clamp, and they are a clamp for something round. In the exact same way that this is a clamp, and so is this. These are all like, uh, 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 well, they're all three jaw chucks. Um, and they hold on to round work really nicely. They are all self-centering chucks, which means as you activate them, all the uh, chuck uh, uh, bodies, the, the, the clamping parts of the chuck move together. But there may be times when you want to hold on to something delicate or with more force. There are more than three jaw chucks. There are four jaw chucks. There are six jaw chucks. If there are more jaw chucks than that, I don't know about them, but they probably exist. But another method for clamping past the chuck when you want to hold on to round work is collets. Um, that little doohickey at the end of your Dremel that holds all the eighth inch bits, that's an eighth inch collet. And if you want to hold a 16th inch bit in your eighth inch Dremel, you're going to need to buy a separate collet for that Dremel, and you can. Collets come in incredibly wide taxonomy of shapes. I use three main collet systems here in the cave. I use the R8 collet system for my mill. And this is, uh, the R8 is, has a long body with an internal thread here. You put the drawbar in through the mill, you clamp, uh, you start pulling on this internal thread and these three jaws, again, it's a three jaw chuck, uh, are pulled into a collar, which tightens them down. And collets like this are, uh, well, they're meant for holding on to uh, milling bits of all sorts of different sizes. And they're meant to hold on them with incredible positivity, like a huge amount of surface area contact. And the more surface area you have, the more grab, and also the less chance that you're going to mar what you're holding on to. Uh, so there's the R8, and that's for holding on to almost exclusively tools for affecting something, right? That's what the R8 Bridgeport Collet System is all about. Um, on the lathe, there is a different collet system. And the most, <laughs> the system I grew up with that is sort of ubiquitous in the film industry is the 5C collet system. And these come everything from uh, 1 32nd of an inch up to uh, an inch and uh, 1 8th, I believe. There's a hole. There's a, the head is cut on an angle that's pulled down into a, a collet body and that clamps down the three jaws by using the threads here. Uh, 5C collets, just like R8 collets, also have an alignment slot. So they go in in one specific way each time and that allows you to uh, tighten this without spinning the collet. The difference between the R8 and the 5C is that the 5C has an outside uh, thread. And there are various ways we can exploit those. The third collet system that I really like in my shop is the ER32. And these are great for super delicate work. You can see here how the entire body of the collet is meant to squeeze. As you push on the outside, there is this and 
the entirety of the body is a piece of springy metal meant for holding on to stuff with tons of surface area and minimal marring. I love these collets. I had uh, I had a, a set of them, uh, 18 collets strong, and I've had them for a few years. I use them enough. Uh, this goes in a separate holder that goes in my lathe. And again, it's hope for holding on to super tiny work, super delicate work. It's very repeatable. Um, my ER32 collet holder is nicely centered to my lathe. And like I said, I had an 18 collet set, but I went looking because I, when I bought these, I bought the cheapest ones. And I thought, I use them enough. Let me buy a good set. So I bought a good set of 25 ER32 collets. And they arrived the other day and it got me thinking, it's time to put these in a holder. It's time to build a, a, a something substantial to hold these over by the lathe. And also while I'm at it, let me take my 5C collets of which I have 32, 33 of them, plus some emergency collets. Yeah, I have a bunch. Um, so today I am going to re-outfit the collet holding system for my lathe for both my 5C and ER32 collets. Um, I don't mean to stump for either one of these systems. If you learn on a separate system, that's probably just fine. You know, so much of our intersection with tools is the tools that the people around us happen to introduce us to. Uh, so I am happening to introduce you to a couple that I use, but you know, there are many, many others. And there are non-collet systems for holding on to stuff like Morse taper and uh, Jacob's taper and stuff like that, but that's a totally separate video. I am going to break out all these collets, lay them out on the table, start to assess a layout system and labeling system for the lathe, and I'm gonna get to building. So yeah, let's get into it.
Mm. I'm very happy about how all of this went. Tom Lipton, uh, I've mentioned this before on the One Day Build. Tom Lipton talked, mentioned to me that some uh, machine operators like to have all of their stuff at their disposal, quote, like a fighter pilot. And I love that he used that terminology because that's exactly the way I feel. Like, I got all my stuff right here. Got my DRO, got my calculator, got my ER32s, got my five Cs over there, got my air. Like, I just love having it all in its place, moving through it. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Oh, this is the ER32 collet holder. Um, they make them in other form factors. I bought one with a hex body and lo, it was not round. Yeah, it was, it didn't spin on center, like by like 30 thou, like something fully crazy. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is I got all my collets up and running here and uh, already the lathe feels more useful to me. And I love that feeling. All right, thank you guys for joining me for this quick shop infrastructure one day build. And I will see you next time.